hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer itv news reported that uh, press morgan has left his role as a presenter on good morning britain and they said that the announcement comes after broadcasting regulation ofcom launched an investigation after re receiving more than forty-one thousand complaints regarding comments made by the presenter following harry and megan's interview uh, with oprah winfrey so basically uh, I'll show you guys the post then that uh, Piers Morgan made on his uh, Instagram. Piers Morgan made the post and um, he used the picture of Churchill. And uh, this is his post. And he said, some people's idea of free speech is that they are free to say what they like. But if anyone says anything back, that is an outrage. Okay. He was quoting Sir Winston Churchill. That's the post he made. And here is the caption that Piers Morgan, Morgan wrote. He said, on Monday, I said I didn't believe Meghan Markle in an Oprah interview. I've had time to reflect on this opinion, and I still don't. If you did, that's okay. Uh, freedom of speech is a hill I'm happy to die on. Thanks for all the love and hate. I'm off to spend more time with my opinions. And um, I'm just going to read some of the comments that people left under his, uh, under his post. And uh, this one says, Piers, why on earth did you resign? Who's going to tell it as it is now? We are truly doomed without you. And this comment says, our mornings would never be the same. Thanks for the laughs, the deep debates, the world's gone nuts. nuts. And this one says, you never let anyone say anything back. That's the whole point. Conversations are supposed to be two ways. And this one says, you can have your free speech. But don't mean you are free from consequences. And this one says, you are going to be so missed in GMB. The only man to speak the truth. I, for one, had got it to see you. Uh, that program will never be the same without you now. And this one says, at the end of the day, everyone is entitled to, to an opinion. And that is yours. Keep speaking out, peers. And this one says, no problem with having your own opinion. But it's when you don't give other people the chance to voice theirs that it becomes a problem. So many times I watch your colleagues silenced by your bombastic rants. Having given up trying to participate in the show themselves. I'm sure there's a lot of people at GMB glad to see you go. And this one says, Winston Churchill would not have fled the studio when the going got tough. You can dish it out. However, when the tables were turned, stormed off in a huff like Kelvin and Perry. And this one says, totally agree with you in this. Why should you change your opinion and your thoughts? I will miss not watching you anymore. All the best. And this one says, but you don't allow other people free speech to voice their own opinions. It's your way or no way. And we have seen that play out countless times on GMB. The difference here is this topic is very personal to Alex and he wouldn't back down. Bullies don't like it when others stand up to them. And this one says, Criticize for five seconds and you walked off laughing emojis and this one says it's all about your delivery though Learn some lessons and you will become a wiser person and this one says everything Alex said was hundred percent true Storming off was childish and petty. I hope you pu publicly support him to prevent the inevitable abuse He will get now and then this one says I really wish you had not have walked off Sometimes you need to just calm down and listen I will miss you on GMTV. And this one says, Oh, please, you were completely out of line. You have spent that last few years spewing nothing but hatred and insults towards Megan. You were challenged and stormed off like a child. Now you're shouting freedom of speech? Be better. And with rolling eyes emojis. This one says, But that's exactly what happened. You said you, you, said you didn't believe her. Alex said you were diabolical. Then you stormed off. So you are literally the person Churchill described here. You are the problem, silly little man child. And this one says, you would never let anyone have their say. Soon as someone put you in your place, you run off with laughing emoji. And this one says, there is having an opinion and being totally disrespectful. You have been so horrible about Megan for months. You are part of the media problem in this country. And this one says, you've had a great COVID crisis, so credit where it's due. But your infatuation with Megan Markle is rather odd and unhealthy. Seems to me you just couldn't handle rejection. Typical narcissistic middle-aged white man who thinks himself 
the center of the universe. Good luck with your future endeavors. And this one says, you stormed off like a baby and quit. No matter the excuse, you've come off looking like a right muppet. Shame. And this one says, everyone can have opinion. You can give it, but you can't take it. He challenged you and you didn't like it and walked out like a big baby. Get over it. Had it been someone in your show who walked out when you said something they didn't like, you would be all over it the next. And this one says, there, there's a difference between expressing your opinion and continuous abusive bullying of a woman. Hardly a day went past that PS didn't, didn't, write, didn't write some nasty uh, article degrading Megan with very little evidence to support his opinion, banging on about her, about her obsessively on TV. No lessons were learned from Caroline that it wasn't simply expressing an opinion it was a hate campaign and that was so obvious unfortunately the, the public ate it up and it created a lot of hate to a point megan wanted to kill herself the irony is is pierce bullied megan for leaving the royal family when it got too much for her yet his job got too much for him so he just walked out he knows he's wrong and that's why he left the bully never wins uh hashtag I stand with Megan. And this one says, Had to laugh at you, Pierce. You have criticized poor Megan relentlessly for years, yet you could not take take it for two minutes. Laugh out loud. And this one says, Give it a rest, mate. You walked out on a on a black man giving an opinion because you couldn't bear to listen to it, not because of an opinion. You're so quick to talk and cannot bear to be challenged. Borderline stalking at this point. And this one says, We're so happy to wake up today to hear you are gone. Mental health is important. And your opinions on how people feel aren't really anything we all, we all need to hear. You went too far and weren't able to handle the truth dished out. And this one says, Alex was exercising his right to freedom of speech too, but you couldn't handle it. You've spent years bullying that woman because she blanked you and you didn't get invited to the wedding. Look back at your interview where you said how nice she was and telling Harry she was a keeper. What changed, eh? Glad to see the back of you. And this one says, couldn't handle a day of what Megan has dealt with for years. Couldn't handle someone calling you out for being obsessed about someone else. Couldn't handle people talking talking over you after you've talked over them so many times before. Get over yourself, Piers. Only half of England cares that you stormed off like a baby, if that even. The other half and the rest of the world could care less that you don't have a job. So I saw that post on his Instagram and I read his comments and I just thought to come and just share, you know, to just come and share some of these comments with you guys. And as always, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye.